What's going on guys? Today I'm going to be showing you a bargain I found online. You all know that I love Man United and I'm always trying to find a bargain, a classic kit, whatever I can find. So I went on to adverts.ie and they always have like loads of classic kits and they're quite cheap. You'll always find a really good jersey at a great price. So today I'm going to be opening these and get ready because these are pretty cool. Hopefully they're the right size. They stay small um adult extra large youth and sometimes that's a lie so hopefully they're nice get ready oh yes okay they're definitely gonna fit me so these are the 1994 away shorts from man united obviously one thing that's really cool about these shorts is like it has all the players names throughout. I don't know if you can see that there, but like you've got Webb, Daly, Cantona. You've got loads of names, loads of names. May. There's the tag on the inside. But yeah, I actually I don't have the jersey to match it, but I don't really care. I just I love those and I will definitely wear them to training. You can't be a classic kit. You really can't. So these cost nine euro and the guy charged six euro for delivery, so fifteen altogether. So yeah, I'm really excited about those. Let me know what you think. If you like those, drop a like on the video or just drop a like on the video because you're nice. Um and yeah, so United are playing Chelsea this weekend. Um Saturday game kickoff is half twelve and I actually can't wait. Like normally when we're in such poor form and we're coming up to play a, a big team. I'm normally not really looking forward to it, but this time I am. I really hope we win. I think we can. Jose Mourinho is in trouble with the FA because he said, fuck you, you son of a bitch, in Portuguese on his way back to the tunnel after the beating Newcastle. So, um, yeah, he's probably going to have a touchline ban, so he'll be sitting in the stands. Um, and I don't know if that will affect the players or not. They might just even play better because he's not there um, on the sideline. A lot of people are saying that Mourinho probably did it on purpose so he would get a ban for the Chelsea game. I think that is just ridiculous. People have too much time in their hands thinking that stuff. Like, really? I don't think he's going to do that. Recently, with United playing Chelsea, it's always been kind of, ooh, what's going to happen? Because, obviously, Jose Mourinho is Chelsea's um, best manager. He's, he's won so much with them. And, yeah, so there's a lot of history there. And I think, yeah, it's, it's always tough. So... For him to be on the touchline, or for him to be banned from the touchline, that's annoying for me. I would have liked him there, but um, I can see why some people are thinking it's good. It, it could be good for the players if they are kind of still Jose out. Short and sweet video for me today. Actually, I want to talk about Ireland last night. They played Wales, and oh my god. Like, why do I have to be Irish and a United fan? Because they're both shite. Joke. Man United, I still love you. But like, honestly, I'm just constantly let down as of recent. Um, as an Irish fan, always. But they're just, they're crap. Like, there's nothing about them. I think Martin O'Neill, I like him, but no. I don't think his style of play is good. I don't think his, uh, the way he sets up, I don't think it's good enough. I just hope that Ireland progress somehow. But I really don't see what we can do to be better. Um... I think the main thing is grassroots in Ireland need to improve because they're crap. I'm not going to lie. Grassroots here are crap. And they're getting better over the years. But when I was a kid, football barely existent. And I had to travel all around to find a team I could play for. And yeah, it was just terrible. So yeah, um, I think things need to get better in order for Ireland to get better. But that will take a very, very long time. And yeah. That's the only way I see Ireland getting better as a football team. My my standout player is always James McLean. I think he he just tries. He gives everything. He may not be the best player in the world, but um, I really like his passion. And yeah, he's the best player for me. Favorite player right now. Um, I like Callum Robinson as well. He he's looking good for us. I think he's had three games. Two came, he started um. He started on the bench and then yesterday he, he actually started the game and I think it's true. Um, but yeah, I'm liking him and I think he, he could come good for us, so hopefully. 
hopefully 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 anyway guys if you liked the video hit like hit subscribe please like the video and yeah let me know do you like my shorts do you i have the home jersey the 94 well it's actually 92 to 94 i have the home jersey but now i'm thinking i have to buy the away as well just so i can be a full kit can i say wanker full kit wanker i don't know i might delete that we'll see anyway Thanks for watching, hit like, hit subscribe, and I will see you for the next video. And enjoy the game on, on Saturday if you're watching it, or if you're watching whatever Premier League game that you're watching, enjoy that.